we've made it, we've got to the end of the summer term, a term that we've never known the like of. First of all, I just want to say you should be really proud of yourselves of what you've achieved since March. The lockdown, the online lessons, the work you've done, everything, you should be really proud. And don't forget to say thank you to the teachers because they have put a huge amount of effort in to make sure that you've still progressed, you're still learning and you have the resources. And we very much look forward to seeing you in September. There's going to be some changes in September um, and I've written to your parents about that and they'll discuss that with you and when you come back in September there'll be a number of days depending what year group you are where we'll be explaining to you all about the changes in September and how we're going to work but the good news is you're going to have every subject that you would normally have you will have and we really look forward to seeing you in September. Now if someone said to me what's the worst holiday you've ever been if you break it down by the criteria of what makes a good holiday there was a holiday when I was about 11 years old, we went to Devon and we long drive, if anyone's ever been down to Devon or Cornwall, it's a long drive. And in the early 1980s, the cars were pretty ropey as well. We drove down on a scorching hot day, so we melted in the car. When we got there, it started to rain and it then rained for eight days solid while we were in a small cottage in Devon. No internet in those days. The TV was a broken TV and we could nearly make out two channels. It was so wet and rainy that half the shops didn't even open and all the tourist stuff was closed. So there we were trapped in this cottage for a week. Technically, compared to going on road trips in America, sunny holidays in Spain or Turkey, heading down to the North African coast, heading to Canada, Mexico, some wonderful opportunities I've had over the years, both with school and with family. That should have been one of the worst holidays, but it wasn't. Because what we had to do is we had to make do. And we were trapped as a family in this cottage with no Wi-Fi, very little television, a dodgy radio, and some old board games and ourselves. And do you know what? The laughs we had, how close we got together as a family, sits with me decades later. It should have been the worst holiday, but actually it wasn't. It was a fantastic holiday because we had to come together and make best a situation that wasn't good. What's happened recently is very similar to that. This has been a bad year, it's not been a great year. But what I want you to take away from this is you've had opportunities, you've had the gift of time, a gift of looking at things very differently, and you've had Wi-Fi. We never had that. So when you come back in September, make sure that you had a nice reflection this summer on the opportunities that lockdown has, has given us all. The opportunity to reflect, spend more time with close family. I know our, our other family has been harder to see and friends, and now you're seeing friends, but it's been a real opportunity to think about what really means, what means a lot to us, what, what we should value in life. And that's what I want you to take away from that. As I said at the beginning, you should be very proud of what you've achieved and you know when you come back in September, the teachers will make sure that you are all okay and moving forward. And of course, we look forward to our new year 12s and year 7s that will join us as well. So take care of yourself this summer. Normally I'd love to show you PowerPoints of sunburnt people and some funnies. I can't do that today and I can't wish you all the best personally. But from me, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for all the support you've shown the teachers. Well done, and I'll see you in September. Have a wonderful summer holiday. Take care, God bless. Good morning, Year Nine. It's lovely to be here addressing you today on our final day of school before we break up for the summer. I want to start with a quote. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. And I'd like you to think about how does this quote apply to you? We've had an unusual year and an even more unusual end of term. In many ways, we've missed out on so much. However, let's look at the positives. From my own personal perspective, I've had the opportunity to spend quality time with my two daughters, one of whom is at university and the other will hopefully be joining her soon. I have not spent as much time with them as I have these past few months since they were little. My dogs have really loved having the house full of people. They have had so much attention, lots of cuddles and treats. I'm sure they will miss me once school returns and life begins to go back to, to normality. 
I've absolutely loved coming into school and working with individual students at our key worker school. Connecting with fellow colleagues and getting to know staff I rarely get to see, let alone speak to. And my IT skills have certainly been coming along. I even have TikTok. It has been truly wonderful to hear about the activities that so many of you have taken part in, to see you flourish academically, as well as grow both in confidence and spiritually. Many of you will have learnt new skills, but most importantly, you will have learnt to be independent learners. This is a skill that many of us as adults don't fully learn until much later in life, possibly whilst at university. So you need to congratulate yourself on not giving up. Always remembering that failing is part of success. An example that I like to refer to is the name of the oil WD-40. Because the 40 refers to the previously 39 failed attempts before its inventors got it right. Always remember that the greatest glory in life lies not in never falling, but in rising every time you fall. I want you all to have a good summer, to spend time enjoying activities that we have taken for granted. Simple things like being able to give your friends and family a hug. Boris Johnson permitting, of course. Let me begin to close this brief assembly by quoting from Hebrews 12. All these many people who have had, who have had faith in God are around us like a cloud. Let us put everything out of our lives that keeps us from doing what we should. Let us keep running in the race that God has planned for us. Let us keep looking to Jesus. Our faith comes from him and he is the one who makes it perfect. He did not give up when he had to suffer shame and die on a cross. He knew of the joy that would be his later. Now he is sitting at the right side of God. You are all amazing. Take every opportunity and never look back and regret the things you should have done. Be open-minded and if you have not achieved as well or all that you planned, set a plan in motion to achieve your goals. Remember, never give up as you are more than amazing. You are awesome. Take care and have a wonderful summer. Uh, good morning students. I hope you and your families are well. Um, I can't believe it's been so long since we were together last, nearly four months when we all sort of said goodbye at the end of March uh, and lots happened in that time. Uh, as you can see I've grown a beard uh, and uh, shot quite a few people that I grew some hair actually. So uh, I grew some hair over a couple of months but um, recently pleased to say that I've taken it all off again. Um, but like I said a lot's happened over that time through homeschooling, the online lessons, exams and it's been a real challenge for all of us. Uh, and one that we're all going to overcome together as we look forward to welcoming everyone back in September. This morning is a sad time for me personally as this will be my last time talking in assembly as I'm leaving Davenant at the end of this academic year. I joined Davenant way back in 2001 uh, and it was never my intention to stay all that long. I originally planned to go back to Australia um, but I stayed um, and found that Davenant really is a truly special place and over the years I've worked with some of the most amazing teachers who really care about the students that have come through the school. Uh, they really do care about all aspects of the students, uh, to making sure that we nurture nine, mind, body and spirit like we talk about. I've made friends, lifelong friends, uh, I've met my wife, uh, got married and uh, now my children are hopefully coming through the school as well. And I will always cherish that Davenant has played a part in a significant part in my life. I've travelled the world with Davenant, telling everyone in all corners of the world how amazing it is and how amazing you, the students, are. And I'm really grateful that a number of you are going to get the chance to go to Japan in 2021 to see the Paralympics. A real testament to the commitment of the, of the school to get involved in something and maximise the potential for our students. That's one thing that really stands out about this place uh, for me. You as students are provided with so many different opportunities and my advice to you is make sure that you take up all the, all the opportunities that you're offered because you never know where they'll take you. When thinking about what to say to you in this final assembly, my final assembly at the school, I thought long and hard about what I would talk about and I kept coming back to the visions and values of the school. And I want to go through them with you. 
So the first one is compassionate, encouraging you to show concern for others whilst displaying kindness and honesty. The second one, determined, the desire to succeed in school and life with energy, commitment and diligence and showing persistence. Being open-minded, the willingness to be quick to listen and slow to speak, accepting each other's differences and new ideas. Respectful, uh, to show fairness and consideration through acting in a thoughtful and understanding manner. And then finally, inclusive, displaying tolerance and acceptance of different religions, different denominations, races, of age, abilities and sexuality. I've sat in many assemblies with Mr Thorne, Mrs Lake and the heads of year and they've all talked to you about these visions and values. But just listening to them talk about it isn't enough. Every member of our community, from the youngest member of year 7 to the oldest member of year 13, from the lunchtime staff, the site teams, the teachers, the support staff, the pastoral leads, the pastoral heads of year and the school's management, all need to do more than just talk about the visions and value. We all need to live the visions and value in all aspects of our lives. I'd like all, all of us, every one of us, to reflect on these values today and take a long, hard look at ourselves and see if we're living these values that we like to talk about day to day. Some of us may have some work to do. It's only if every single member of this school community does this that we can live out our founder's dream after Ralph Davenant, Reverend Ralph Davenant, established the legacy to establish this wonderful school. I finally like to just say I'd like to wish everyone all the best for the future, take all the opportunities that come in your direction and make sure that you live out our founder's dream. Take care and God bless. Hi, I just want to say hello and add my message of we've missed you to all the messages you've had already. School really isn't a place for there to be no students. It's really weird being here without you. I hope you've made the best attempt at lockdown and I hope you've had actually some good times. Um, you'll be talking about this for years. This is gonna be a key moment in your life as it is in ours and it's gonna be something that we will return to time and time again. Anyway, I pray and that you've managed the work and I hope that that hasn't been too onerous. I know your heads of year have talked about resilience in that time, but whatever you've done, well done. I thank you as well for giving help to your families and your friends and also to strangers. We've had some lovely messages and comments about you being fantastic, little Samaritans all over the place, supporting your community. And I just wanna congratulate you on that. We've had some amazing photographs of you stepping up and taking on Mr Thorne's challenges and some really funny videos of some of those challenges being completed. I've also enjoyed every Friday seeing the mouth-watering cakes and puddings that you've been creating, but sadly I wasn't able to taste them, so just marking on the way they look, the aesthetics of them. I also hope you've kept in touch with your friends. They've gone through exactly the same thing as you have at exactly the same time of life. And you will be the, the sources of compassion and comfort to one another. And I hope you've been that and will continue to be that. But before I just wish you well for the summer and before I pray, I want to say that we are so looking forward to, to seeing you in September and your staff will be waiting to care for you and look after you. It won't be normal, but it will be as normal as we can possibly make it. Your staff are in next week, actually putting together the classrooms in a way that will be friendly and safe for you. But thank goodness the plan is that we will all be back together again. So in closing, the Bible says that when life gets tough, God is in it with us. And I have a favourite song that captures that. It's called Praise You in the Storm and it's by Casting Crowns. And it says, I was sure by now, God, you would have reached down and wiped our tears away, stepped in and saved the day. But once again, I say, it's still raining. As the thunder rolls, I barely hear you whisper through the rain, I'm with you. 
And as your mercy falls, I raise my hands and praise the God who gives and takes away. I'll praise you in the storm and I will lift my hands and say that you are who you are, no matter where I am. And every tear I've cried, you hold in your hand and never left my side. And though my heart is torn, I will praise you in the storm. I hope you've been able to find God in this storm that we've all been facing. Now let's pray. Thank you, God, that you've been with us in the storm, even when we've not known it. Thank you that you've been beside us during the death of family members, friends, and through losing so many people across the world due to COVID-19. Thank you, God, that we've heard stories of your presence where people have been facing financial challenges, loss of jobs, illness. And Father God, I thank you that you've been in the homes with the families as they've got a little tense with each other and a little stressed at being slow cooped up together. Thank you, God, that you've been in the hurt revealed through the Black Lives Matters discussions. But God, over the summer, we pray that you will give us time to reflect on who you are and pray that we'll explore that a little bit more. God, I pray that you will give us purpose in our lives as we look forward to the future. In these strange times, show us how we can serve you and how we can look to you for our strength. During the summer, God, bring healing to this land and to our community and bring peace, we pray. Give our leaders wisdom, both in the world, in the country and at Davenant for the way forward in COVID-19. Restore us to health and provide work and money for our families. Bring us back in September safe to be reunited with our friends and teachers and staff at Davenant so that we can achieve together all that God has for us to be and to do. Thank you, God that you are bigger than any challenge we face and you are with us in the storms of life. Amen. Have a great summer and I really do look forward to seeing you in September. Bye.